As part of his corporate social responsibility in creating awareness on the need for early detection and treatment of cancer, the Nigeria Stock Exchange hosted the fourth edition of his corporate challenge Stack E-Race Cancer 2.0 at the Nikon Stadium, Lagos. The five-kilometer race attracted over 1,000 participants from 170 quoted companies, broker-dealer firms, notable Nigerian leaders, non-listed companies, and the Nigerian entertainment industry. It is an annual highly competitive and fun-filled walk-run and jog competition designed to raise awareness and funds for the purchase of 37 mobile cancer centers in Nigeria, each valued at $615,000. Before the race, there was early morning aerobics to prepare the participants. Despite the heavy downpour, the race led up to his billing with a lot of energy and passion. Proceeds from the race will go to the purchase of mobile cancer screening centers for 36 states and the federal capital territory in the country. And the CEO of the Nigeria Stock Exchange, Mr. Oscar Oyema, speaks further on the essence and value of the corporate challenge. We are hoping to uh, raise about $615,000 uh, to buy mobile test, uh, uh, cancer testing unit. Uh, as you know, um, over 100,000 Nigerians get diagnosed every year with cancer and about 80,000 of them will lose the fight annually. So th those numbers are not good. And uh, so empirical data shows that early detection is the way to go. And so if we can have this mobile cancer testing unit, we can um, begin to get people tested uh, and uh, also raise the awareness in terms of he uh, healthy living, uh, running, doing all kinds of sports to keep ourselves fit and healthy. The First Lady of Ondo State, Mrs. Betty Anyanwa Kerdulu, participating for the first time, shares her experience as a survivor and also speaks on the issues around cancer screening, particularly women-related cases. We want every group, every organization in the fight against cancer to come together um, and have a strong voice and fight against this disease that is taking its toll on Nigerians. I'm not just here as the First Lady of Ondo State, I'm also representing Breast Cancer Association of Nigeria, another leading NGO. And together, and there are quite a number of them in the, in, in the cancer um, advocacy, so that we can pool um, resources, maybe material resources, those that are um, knowledgeable in, in, the, in the area, swim up the medical community, because they too themselves, they're almost helpless because people come presenting cancer at a very less stage when very little you know can be done but with this awareness creation with this push that people should come for test you detect it early and the chances are there that will you survive that is it early detection saves lives i'm a poster child because i'm talking from experience i'm a survivor and if I should come out and tell people, they will ask, what did you do that you survived the disease? Then I will tell them, that, for example, check your breast regularly. If you notice any change, go to hospital. And that's it. And your chances for surviving the disease you know, are enhanced. And again, for government to vote money. That is the cocoa, government to vote money. because. NGOs, even the stock exchange, they have limitation to fund. They can't do it all alone. Government has to be there. So we need to pull them. Like I said, they, they're in a, a position, very powerful position at a powerful vantage point to talk to government, to talk to governors, appropriate fund for cancer control, and then you can plan properly. Not this haphazard Thing that we do, people do screening here, do screening there, and when a woman has the, the, the sign of breast cancer, that's very little she can do because she doesn't have the money. Nigerian ace comedian Ali Baba, who donated 200 cancer kits for the women, has lost a loved one and used the occasion to emphasize the need for strategic investment in the healthcare system. My first contact with it is that uh, my younger brother, my immediate younger brother, died of cancer, prostate cancer. Uh, and then uh, I've lost about like two, three other friends to the same thing. Uh, then in show business, you probably have about like, uh, maybe like six, seven people who have also gone on that path. 
And so when, when this course comes up, I'm always very concerned about it. Um, for the women, it is, um, it's even most disheartening because uh, some of them now die and leave their young ones and they don't know what to do. These are the people who um, are supposed to birth the new generation. And so if they are dying because of breast cancer and all of that, sort of, or cervical cancer or something, so it, it, it's, it's an issue. So I've also, I've also, also tried to make sure that, uh, that I help the course anyhow that I can. Because awareness is one important thing. As they say, early detection helps a lot. And so, which is why I now de donated those kits. Because those, hundred, those are 200 kits that we've donated. And we're ready to donate more if there are people to collect them. would we'll help them to find it out quick and then uh, do something about it. Because if it's just a lump, take it out and be, be okay. Instead of wait till it gravitates, uh, it, 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 uh, it grows into something else. I think in Nigeria, what we need first is primary health care. Before you now think about the other thing, then we now begin to think about the institutionalization of medical research, of uh, training doctors properly. You go to universities and you see doctors who are cheating at exams, doctors who are not well paid, facilities that are not there for them to learn properly. So all of those things, are, they amount to it. So then we have a lot of brain drain. People are living here to source for greener, greener pastures. Why are they living? Because the, the environment here is not conducive for them. Uh, but there are a lot, lot that still needs to be done. And I believe that uh, our health sector, until we do something about it to make it a better sector, will continue to have that medical tourism that takes people to Kenya, takes people to South Africa, and even to uh, and then India. Until we begin to do something about it, we continue to have that. So this year, we um, had about 200 partner uh, companies that participated. Uh, we've raised over 40 million. Um, and in spite of the rain, a lot of people came out. You know, we're estimating that we probably got about 1,000 people. So uh, a, a much improvement over last year. And uh, hopefully by the end of next year, we should have raised enough money to buy the first uh, cancer testing uh, unit. So far, since the session, how many have you purchased uh, MC? We, so far, we've raised a little over 100 million naira. Uh, that's not enough to purchase one, because you need about $615,000 uh, to purchase one. At the end of the five-kilometer race, Anolo Zuchuku emerged the overall winner, while Okore Favor emerged the first for ladies. The statistics that 100,000 Nigerians are diagnosed of cancer annually with a 20% survival rate is alarming. This buttresses the need for a robust public-private partnership framework to invest in the infrastructure that will aid early detection and prevention. The Nigeria Stock Exchange Corporate Challenge is one effort that needs to be supported to critically address the rising tide of cancer in the country.